In this lesson, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff, Evil Eye by Fu Manchu. What's going on? Welcome to Beholden to the Riff, the heaviest bass channel on YouTube. My name is Jared. Thank you so much for checking out this video. For the tone in this one, I'm using a Black Arts Tone Works Black Sheep pedal, gnarly tone. And as always, running it through my dark glass M500 amp and into a 4x12 cab simulator. We are tuned to D standard tuning. So grab your axe, tune down a step, and let's do it. Riff number one uses the D minor pentatonic scale. Here it is, nice and slow. First half of the riff is happening all on the low E string, now low D string. Nice little syncopation in there, lots of groove. Second half of the riff, we're coming up to the A string. It's gonna be three, four, five, open. Then it just kind of cycles through. What's really cool about this riff is the end of the second half of the riff, this three, four, five, actually spills over into the next measure and creates that kind of syncopated, really deep, deep groove. So here it is one more time, slowly. Riff number one is used for the intro as well as all the verses throughout the song. Every once in a while, they cut it a little short and just to create a little space in the song, just like a nice kind of breath in the middle. Uh, I'll play it once when it cuts out and then as it picks back up. So So here's that last measure, we add an extra open. What this does is set up the chorus to be, to land and to come in on the, on the strong beat. I'll play that last measure of the verse with that added beat and into the first measure of the chorus. I'll use the head bob technique and check out how the, the last measure comes in on an up bob, so it's, Then that added beat kind of flips the feel so we land on the strong beat when we come in on the fifth fret into the chorus. And then they go immediately back into the up bobs, but very cool how they flip it for just a second and it's, it's really satisfying. So here's the last measure of the verse into the first measure of the chorus. Here is one more time, a little bit slower. The chorus part is happening all on our low D string. Third fret, fifth fret, and he's gonna throw in the tritone up here on the sixth fret. Here it is nice and slow. First half goes.
basically five, three, five. Then we're going to slide up to the sixth fret here. From the sixth fret, goes back down to third, slides up to the fifth fret. Really important here to follow along on the head bobs, which are the strong beats. Da, 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 Especially on that second half, when we slide from the three to the five. Da, da, da. And then coming back into the repeated chorus riff on a down. <laughs> Last measure of the chorus hangs on the tritone here. They just kind of slide out of it and then back into the beginning. Halfway through the song, they break it up with a little breakdown. Basically, just hitting the root note on the seventh fret A string. Just a little kind of drumming guitar groove. Really try to lock in with the with the drums, and it comes in on an offbeat again. So it's one, two, three, four, 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 two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Just awesome. Creates a nice kind of a breather in the middle. Just so cool. Before we check out the next riff, a huge thank you to all the Patreon members. Your support means the world and makes all these lessons happen. Thank you so much. After the breakdown, we head into a bridge section. Going to be using 5, 6, 7 on the E string. So we got our little tritone here. And we'll be hitting the 5th fret and 7th fret on the A string. The first half of the riff climbs up the scale. So we ascend, we go five, six, seven. Second half of the riff starts fifth fret and we descend. Finishing off with the root note, seventh fret. First half, ascending. Second half, descending. So we play that ascending, descending bridge idea a couple times leads us into it's kind of like a second chorus or something like that we're going to be seventh fret e string five three back in ready to go into that second chorus kind of like clunky timing a little bit but sounds really cool once you get it down this got a little bend on the third fret 
the song ends by revisiting that intro part and shaking up the timing a little bit at the end. I'll just play it all the way through this. few measures of the outro we're going to be doing that three four five it just kind of cuts it short a little bit goes like finishes off the line goes three four five open just like always then we go three five six seven Here's those last few measures nice and slow. Thank you so much for checking out the lesson. If you dug the video, please hit that like button. It really helps a lot. If you want to further support the channel, we got the baddest t-shirts on the planet. A link in the description below. You'll find a link to the Patreon page. Check it out. Tons of killer benefits. And we will see you in the next video.